Hey everybody, Chiron here, and welcome back to another episode of Factorio. So, where we left off last time, we were working on our situation with iron plates and copper plates. So, we have our train up and running. It's doing pretty good. Um, as you can see, we have full belts of copper and iron now. The issue is, if we come up here, we are still deficient on iron. So, we have to keep going. And I think what I want to do is start expanding out so instead of having all of our iron plate production here, we, well, what we got going on up here? Is this thing full already? Holy cow. All right, let's upgrade that. And let's get some of these changed, uh, actually. Yeah, let's get some of these changed back over. Um, I think we'll do these bottom two. And we'll get, uh, get some iron plates producing again, because we obviously have more than enough steel. <laughs> Alright. So, let's... Um... Get these swapped over. Actually, you're going to be a pain, aren't you? All right. And we'll swap that around. Need to destroy you and swap you out with one of those. We'll grab up the excess steel that we have on here. What are you doing? Alright. And we should be good. So we'll uh, keep these three going. And we'll pop... Uh, we'll actually carry a little bit of steel on us. Alright. So, uh, three of these should be good enough to get us going. But we're still going to need more. So a couple things that we need to make uh, are laser turrets first and foremost. The second thing we need to create is more electric furnaces. So we'll create as many of those as we can. The reason we need some more laser turrets, as you probably saw at the end of last episode, uh, our train was actually getting attacked. And this wall is just getting absolutely hammered. <laughs> so. What I want to do is get a couple more turrets up in here, protect this wall, and we can go check out uh, the train on our way through. So I'll just wait for this last one to get created here, and boom. So that should be a little bit of a stopgap while we go do something about that. So at the end of last episode, um, you might have noticed that some stuff was getting destroyed. The only thing that actually got destroyed was a couple of track pieces. There was like three track pieces that got killed. I got over there in time, took them out, and put a couple of extra turrets just around the station so that we could um, have a little bit more peace of mind that we're not going to have our train station destroyed while we're not looking. So it was right here, like three pieces right in here got destroyed, but nothing big. So we got a couple of laser turrets here, and I just completely took out a drill. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at our robot uh, construction bots have us covered. Alright, so what I'm going to do, since we're getting a lot of attacks coming from the north, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of take some of those out. Looks like our power production is still doing pretty good. So we can leave that be for the time being. But yeah, look at just the amount of corpses in here. <laughs> like every pixel here is a different corpse. It's kind of, uh, kind of strange. Alright. Snake on through here. And change out to our guns. 
Alright, just ignore them. Alright. What else can we destroy up here? Oh, yeah. Look at these. <laughs> that is a heck of a colony. Um... Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is bust out my old strategy. Uh, that's a lot more than I want to take out with my uh, little tank here. So let's go. And uh, let's get a couple of turrets, get a couple of electric poles, and see what we can do about that. I think we could probably take it out, but in all honesty, it's not really a big deal. I would much rather do it the easy way than potentially die. <laughs> so if you die, you start over, which is not good. Alright. We'll go ahead and park. And let's get our electric furnaces in place. Alright. Perfect. Uh, let's do up some medium poles here. Because why not? small pole here just to save resources and there we go so let's uh, um, actually we'll need to move those anyway there we go I don't even know what these are for oh yeah I had uh, there was some electric drills here at one point, <laughs> but not for quite some time now. Alright, what do we need to power there? There, we'll move that guy. Actually, we can just get rid of that entirely. So it's just in the way. And we'll put one more down here. Boom. And we'll use uh, some fast movers here. Won't have enough, but can always make more. We actually have our production going. 236 of them. That's what I like to see. Alright. So we'll head on over here. Come this way, and there we go. Ah, we're going to need to put in some more power poles here, but that's fine. And we need a couple more inserters. We actually need two more. And voila. There we go. So that should hopefully get us a little bit closer to our goal. Are we doing up here? Yeah, I think... Uh, I think we need to put our splitter back in. Let's make a higher speed splitter here. And then uh, we can make sure that our guys get everything that they need. Um, actually we'll need to put it there. Throw that in and there. Perfect.
All right, we're gonna rely pretty heavily on our iron production here. So I think I might go put in some more electric mining drills for our iron supply. Oh yeah, look at that go. Holy cow, that's what I like to see. Um, we might actually need to start upgrading this. Holy cow, that's awesome. I like that. Uh, do we have any fast underground? Good. Boom. Boom. All right. See how we're cooking now. And there we go. So now we have full saturation up here. I don't know how long that'll last, but uh, it should at least get us where we need to go. So we are stacking up very, very lightly here. I think we could actually use some more, but not much we can do about it at the at the particular moment. All right. So let's get a couple more mining drills in place. Our lab efficiency is doing pretty good. Let's make a bunch of those because we are definitely, definitely going to need them. Um, we could honestly get rid of these guys. It's nice having, but they're not very efficient. Um, or we could upgrade them to, you know what, we have these. There we go. <laughs> We'll honestly keep those there, probably to the end of the series. Just because I like having that little uh, side supply when I think we're running out. We always have just a little bit more. Alright. You have no resources left, so we'll grab you up. Not a big deal, we have just absolute tons of copper. <laughs> we have more copper than we would ever need. But iron, on the other hand, we... Are pretty deficient there. I think I'm gonna add a third iron car even. When I need steel plates. Let's go grab up some steel here. Get one more cargo wagon. Um what else do we need? So we need uh, we need some of these guys. So we need batteries and we need steel. Um, we need some power poles. Oh we need all of the things. All right. How many power poles can we make? Is that it? Holy cow! Definitely need a lot of steel. Boom. Oops. Put some of that back. We are gonna need a lot of it, so we'll take as much as we can. Come on up here and grab some batteries. Actually, we have. Uh, we should have battery storage down below. Oh, we have plenty of batteries. Plenty of batteries. What are we going to run out of? Electric units. Definitely nice being in the position where we can just go grab absolutely everything we need. 20 laser turrets. Why not? 17. Let's see, we've got the... Cargo train being made, we've got our electric poles, our laser turrets, our electric mining drills. Got 32 of those bad boys. Yeah, we should be all set for this episode, I think. Should have all the resources that we need. So let's hop in our ye olde car. And head on over. Alright, so we're going to have to plan this out a little bit, um, we'll do there, and then I think I want to put two gaps in between these, and I'll show you why. 
Um, we're going to need to get a lot, a very large throughput of resources through here. So I think what we're going to do is something like this. And then what we can do is we can get all of these guys to pretty much be always full, if at all possible. Uh, we can put speed modules in here to get them to go a little bit faster. But I think that's really going to be our best solution at this point. There we go. So let's see how these work. Yeah, that should uh, should work out pretty good. So these are, this one is barely stacking up, but it has five drills. This one has four drills, and it's uh, kind of keeping up pretty good. And what if we put a splitter in there? We might actually. Uh, want to start upgrading to the the blue conveyors even. Just go a little bit faster. Alright. Let's continue on. We'll uh, start pulling these guys up. Put you there. That was not going to mine anything. <laughs> Do a gap of oh we can't we're gonna run out of room here hmm. all right I think we're gonna do this. We will do a two gap. And we'll pop those in there. We'll get these up and operational. And what's, uh, what's the problem here? There we go. Boom, boom. Oop, those are not powered. There we go. One more. And that did not help in the slightest. There we go. Alright, and then what we can do is we can approach this from the other side. We'll do... You. Just like so. Get a couple of crates here. Make sure we don't get hit by the train. <laughs> that would be bad news. And like so. There we go. Get rid of these guys here. Oh, we did have we did have one drill. It looks like it was destroyed, but not a big deal. Hmm. I'll change this up just a wee bit. Yeah, that 
one's still going to be a little bit inefficient, but not a whole lot we can do about it. Alright, I think that should probably handle our iron needs for the time being. So, let's head back out and start taking care of our pest problem. Lab efficiency is almost there, and then we can start working on some of our end game research. Um, actually, I need to place down a couple of power poles while I'm down here because I destroyed them the last time it came through. Let's see, we go right there. Stretch on up here. Boom. And put it off to the side so that I don't run into it, because I will. Because <laughs> I am a derp like that. And where uh, exactly are we going here? Pretty much going straight north. Boom. Holy cow. Alright. Start placing out some turrets here so we can defend ourselves just a wee bit while we get everything else in place. Maximum range. Just lead them on through to the kill box. <laughs> ah. Good breaks. Alright, so this should at least help us out where uh, it's, it's not going to physically take out the colonies for us. It'll just kind of keep these guys at bay so we don't have to worry about them swarming the tank. Alright. If only I can actually place this last one, and then we'd be good to go. There we go. Actually, gonna get out entirely. Let's uh, pick these guys up and start placing them in. There we go. Uh, do I actually have, have an extra RoboPort? That would be pretty entertaining. Alright. Yeah, so they're they're destroying them pretty much as quickly as they're getting born. So let's go back. We'll grab our tank. And then we can start going for uh, those hives. This is... Uh, yeah, pretty uh, tricky maneuver we got going on here, but it's definitely gonna be worth it in the end if we can cut down on our attacks a little bit. All right. Um. You know what, we need, I think we need more ammo. We've got 132 piercing ammo. I don't have any piercing ammo on me. I might, uh, might go and stock up from our assembly machine. But uh, let's load up on some tank shells here. Back to this guy. Pop them into the trunk. And then uh, just gonna make a quick little pit stop over here. Stop. Um, I think uh, I'll do as well. It's one of those, and we don't have any inserters. Just gonna make a bunch of inserters as we are always out. Uh, 
There we go. So, full on all of the ammo that we would ever need. And I do have my combat shotgun just in case we do get in absolute trouble. We'll be able to defend ourselves with no problem. Well, I shouldn't say with no problem, with slightly less horrible death. <laughs> Thread the needle like a champ. Always good. Let's see how our turrets are faring against the hive. Oh, we could probably get rid of these guys. They're not going to help us all the way down here. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> They're just getting absolutely wrecked. Alright, let's... Let's get a kind of a secondary area here. Where we can put a couple more of these bad boys. Alright, so let's start going after... How far does this go? Not quite that far. Oh man, there are just so many of them up here. That is crazy. And just want to keep an eye on our repair packs. So we have 17 repair packs ready to go. So it should keep us alive while we do our little maneuvers here. Alright. Yeah, we're not doing too incredibly bad here. But, yeah, if, it, as you can probably imagine, if we didn't have those laser turrets there, we would be hurting a little bit. Alright. 16 repair packs left. We should be in the clear at this point. Let's move up a little bit. One more on the side here. There we go. So let's back it on out of here so we can get rid of our little entourage. And there we go. Get rid of these stupid worms. Can we get that? Yes, we can. All right. Three shots. Two shots for you. Take care of our loyal fans. Alright. Boom. Switch out to our guns. Get those taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> I am so glad that uh, we did this strat instead. I'm not, uh, I, I think we could have survived. You know, we have, we have enough repair packs and enough robots that we would have actually survived the encounter, but it would have just taken forever. We'd have to keep backing up and repairing and, and taking them out and all kinds of stuff like that, so. And there we go. So we have our lab efficiency four. Uh, the next thing we need to work on is getting rockets. So we need rocket four, three, two, one. We need all of them. Awesome. That's going to be quite a few. Luckily, we have a lot of alien science packs coming our way. Which is great. Oh my god, look at the corpses here. Oh man, that is that is pretty bad. <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Here they are, just trying to live on their own little world. And some, some dick has to come along and build all these polluting machines. And destroy their hives. And... Ah, I'm such a jerk. Alright, we're starting to run out of, uh, out of repair packs here. 
so we'll uh, have to back up and get that taken care of. Pair packs, we'll just make an umpteen amount. Alright. Head on back over here. Gonna go on through. Get these all taken care of. We got the big worms first. A little uh, laser turret support. Boom. Boom. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for using the strat. It's not really fair for the worms, <laughs> but what are you going to do? We'll, uh, we'll just take out the spawners first, I think, and then worry about the worms in just a minute here. There we go. Worm. Just got a couple more of these bad boys. Two and one. There we go. And at this point, we can pretty much get out. Uh, it's a little bit harder to move maneuver in that tank to pick up these uh, alien pods. What are they called? Artifacts. So we'll just scoop these up, and we'll be on our way. Perfect. So I think uh, I think that's actually going to end it there. Um, oh, we do need a couple of these guys, because we lost all of them. Um, I suppose we can get rid of these. Pick these up just in case we need them. Um, I'm honestly going to leave the power poles out here. I don't think they'll attack those, maybe? If they do, I'm not too heartbroken about it. We can always make more. But it is what it is. So, yeah. Like I said, we're uh, probably going to end it there. Um, actually, I'm just going to take these guys out if I can. So that uh, I don't forget about them, run into them, and then have to worry about them a little bit later. And then, uh, yeah, pick up uh, where we left off last time. I think I am just going to spend a little bit of time AFKing some of those uh, rocket shooting speed upgrades, because we need all five of them, and they're just going to take absolutely forever. Um, and you don't want to wait for that on camera. <laughs> so... So yeah, I'll uh, do that off camera. Get a couple of them going. I, I won't like continue to do any more besides the rocket shooting speed ones. But um, when I come back, hopefully we'll start uh, be able to work on some of that rocketry stuff and see what we can do about getting those uh, end game buildings. Get some rockets launching. Should be a good time. So yeah. So thanks for coming out, everybody, and see you next time.